the success of last week's video where we talked about the great mage returns after 4,000 years. And thank you guys for all the support on that video. This week, we're going to talk about one of my favorite manhwa of all time. That if Albert Einstein was alive today, he would call it a cinematic masterpiece. And that is, without a shadow of doubt, one that rivals solo leveling in the greatest art I have ever seen coming from a Korean manhwa. That is the legend of the Northern Blade. Before we jump into this video, guys, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe, especially if you enjoy uh, my variety content like the manhwa videos I be doing every Monday. Anyway, The Legend of the Northern Blade actually starts about 130 years ago, where all the demon clans, all the demon sects have all banded together, and they are called the Silent Knight. They are currently ravaging and destroying the world. 130 years ago, some of the greatest martial arts masters banded together in this world and created the Northern Heavenly Sect. And for 130 years, the Northern Heavenly Sect protected the world. But in the years past, the Silent Night have gone very quiet. The rest of the world now fear the Northern Heavenly Sect because they are just that powerful they feared that they have the power to take over the world so in chapter one a plot is deceived a plot is made where every single member betrays the northern heavenly sect for their own personal gain some of the commanders become legends some of the other members become gods and other people get seats on the high council in the in this world and thus they betray the main character's father uh who the main character is by the way Jin Mu Wan and they kill his father destroy his family destroy his sect the northern heavenly blade is no more they also banish Jin Mu Wan to never learn any martial arts and that is how chapter one ends now this is going to be some a few spoilers along the way to be fair but throughout the next few 10 to 20 chapters we see Jin Mu Wan's life as he is now basically living in hell his family murdered his sect destroyed his friends slaughtered anybody loyal to the northern heavenly sect has been destroyed now we learn eventually around chapter 20 or chapter 25 that Jin Mu Wan has actually been learning the secrets of the Northern Heavenly Sect without anybody knowing. And not only has he learned it throughout the last few years, he has now mastered the Northern Heavenly Sect's true martial arts power that led them to be one of the world's greatest main powers throughout the last 130 years. With that, he destroys the Northern Heavenly Sect so nobody else can learn this power and he sets out to train. We then, in the very early chapters, get a, about a 10, I would say, 15 year time skip where Jin Mu Wan has now mastered the secrets of the Northern Heavenly Blade. The martial arts master that allowed his father to be, to grow and become one of the world's greatest strengths in power and thus the story officially begins as a revenge <laughs> once again i know the irony as she said loves a good revenge story i know i know i know but this one the art the story the characters alone is just amazing if anything solo leveling was very popular because of its amazing art i would say the legend of the northern blades art style rivals that of solo leveling so if you really liked solo leveling's art style be sure to read the legend of the northern blade the next few chapters from the time skip are actually insane we see Jin Mu Wan start to actually slaughter motherfuckers as he grows his own 
party goes on adventures grows with the people around him and makes them grow in return all for the purpose of destroying the people who betrayed his father and caused his sect to be murdered Jinmu Wan still has loyal followers around the world because those followers were just too scared to speak up when his father was being murdered. But Jinmu Wan has a good heart and with a good heart carries a strong will and he forgives those that stood silent. But nonetheless, this story is what about revenge. He will get revenge. The light novel has actually, I looked it up, ended in 2018 after starting in 2014 as of this video i don't know where the webtoon is up to compared to the light novel but i feel like we're we're about halfway through uh compared to the light novel i'm very excited to see the future of this story and how jin mu one grows and treats the people around him because in the recent chapters a little bit of spoilers the path he has walked has been the path of murder. Everybody who he's killing right now has been living in peace practically ever since the Northern Heavenly Sect was destroyed. Yes, they murdered his father, but I mean, all is technically still well. Now, in the shadows, the Silent Knight have been regrowing ever since the defeat of the Northern Heavenly Sect. So they are once again going to be a problem in the world of Mirim. I'm excited to see how the creator develops the story and one manhwa you should read if any at all is the legend of the northern blade especially if last week's uh manhwa the great mage returns after four thousand years was a little too light-hearted by the way if you read this one and that one be sure to comment down in the comment section down below what other manhwa or manhwa you read i honestly love every single one of these these are one of my favorites and in recent times i like them better than manga if i'm being totally honest manga is amazing don't get me wrong i love manga not nonetheless but manhwa have really opened my eyes to the possibilities and if the fact that it has art as well colored is honestly really fucking cool anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe tell me if you read the legend of the northern blade and i'll see you in the next video my name is always peace